After the release and critical success of the Lego Batman movie, many people have been debating over which of these two Lego films is superior. Well, in this versus video, we are going to find out. Let's get to it. In the Lego movie, our main character is a construction worker called Emmett. He learns quite horribly that he is a social outcast to his people, and quite by luck, he finds this brick called the Peace of Resistance, which can be used to deactivate an evil weapon. So Emmett and his friends set out on a mission to deliver it to the appropriate location and save the world. In the Lego Batman movie, Joker feels like he is not ranked high enough in Batman's list of menacing villains, so he tries to execute a plan to destroy Gotham so he will be cemented as Batman's number one most dangerous bad guy. And that's about it. Very basic stories, but it's the actual character interactions, jokes, and pop cultural references that make these movies what they are, with a little bit of drama thrown in as well. In the Lego movie, we have a ton of characters, all with different styles of humour, and when you take into account that they are all specifically made for this movie, it is quite impressive the amount of personality they have been given. You understand their motivations and why they are on this adventure in the first place. Then, completely out of left field, you get Batman who shows up, and he, not surprisingly, was my favourite character in the film, and that says a lot about my preferred humour. But a close second has to be Good Cop Bad Cop, voiced by Liam Neeson. And yes, this basically takes the super tough and kick-ass Liam Neeson that we all know and love, and quite unnervingly reduces him to this very softly spoken, hopeless, and rather wimpy character. And the way he switches between the two personalities really cracks me up. Oh yes, but we're not done yet. Hi buddy, I'm your friendly neighborhood police officer. Would you like a glass of water? Yeah, yeah, actually. Yes. Too bad. Lego Batman the movie, on the other hand, takes a large chunk of the Batman mythology and packs it into this one movie. And I really mean it when I say it packs. For those of you that don't know, Batman has some really laughable villains, such as the Calendar Man, Crazy Quilt, Eraser, Killer Moth, and the one everyone agrees is so wonderfully stupid, the Condiment King. This villain is so laughable that even the Batman animated series had a go at him. Come, Batman. Let's see if you can cut the mustard. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> we also have many other characters, such as Bane, who is putting on Tom Hardy's voice from The Dark Knight Rises. Hello! And then we have the Joker. Now, as I said, throughout this movie, Joker's main goal is to be Batman's number one villain. And Batman doesn't think he has a number one villain. In fact, he rates Bane more than Joker, and needless to say, that gets him... upset. Now, I found this plotline of the movie to be incredibly funny, but I thought they went a little too far with it. Maybe I just saw it this way, but it seemed like they were trying to say that Joker is kinda gay for Batman. And even though I love when these characters are parodied, that was one step too far, and it made the joke less funny to me and more awkward. I mean, there is a moment where they're both holding hands and Joker brings his face closer to Batman's. They really needed to take it down a notch because it was distracting and it actually compromised the really funny setup they had. But other than that, the movie and its plethora of characters including Robin, were great, and they were incorporated so well. Going back to the Lego movie, it also had characters like Wildstyle, whose main comedic talent was to just react to everything, Unikitty, who has some really funny scenes where she is trying to hold back her dark side, Metalbeard, and countless others. None of these characters I would say are great or worthy of being fan favourites, but they admirably serve their purpose for the movie. The Lego movie also managed to incorporate many other characters from the DC universe, and they had a couple of very funny moments. But at the same time, we did not get to spend too much time with them, as the movie tried to maintain focus on Emmett and his friends. Now, the Lego Batman movie, on the other hand, has practically opened the gateway for as much characters as possible to enter this world. Even characters that have nothing to do with DC or even Warner Brothers manage to make their way in here. And finally, we get Batman himself. And this is less the wise and dark brooding Batman that we are familiar with, and he has been replaced with this narcissistic asshole. The best way to describe his characteristics is that this is more of what Batman would be if he was just a rich punk wearing a mask and claiming to be a hero. He takes any chance he can to gloat, interacts with fans while simultaneously patronising everyone he comes across, and hypes himself up as being so awesome. Now this can become a little grating at times as he takes it too over the top at points, but on the whole he was great. As I mentioned earlier, we even get to see a lot of Batman's rogues gallery and they all play a part in the climax of the movie. The Justice League were the only ones who got the shaft in this movie as they only had a cameo, but maybe we'll get a spoof with them once the new boring Justice League movie comes out that is still being directed by Zack Snyder- okay, I'm getting off track here. Uh, so uh, in regards to which movie had better characters, I enjoyed them much more in the Lego Batman movie. I found myself laughing a lot more and the fact that we already know these characters makes it a lot funnier to see them get parodied to this extent. The voice actors of both these movies also deserve top marks for their awesome and energetic performances. Also, for voicing Batman, Will Arnett has totally redeemed himself for sucking in the Turtles movies. 
In regards to jokes, the Lego Movie pokes fun at the fantasy genre of films and points out their various cliches, the main one being the prophecy, and it was really smart. With the jokes in the Lego Batman Movie, they are absolutely brutal. I mean, if Batman was a real person, this would hurt so bad. Right at the beginning of the movie, it comedically dissects the opening logos and music of the Dark Knight trilogy, and later on, it takes his entire history and presents it to him in one of the most backstabbing ways imaginable, and it is hilarious. Something very important to note though is that in order to get all of these jokes, you need to be fully versed in Batman's movies and TV shows, as it constantly references and pokes fun at all of them. So your overall enjoyment of this film really depends on your knowledge of this character. For example, in his very first scene, Batman makes a reference to something he said in the 1989 Tim Burton movie, and you won't get the joke unless you have seen it. So in many ways, kids will still enjoy this film, but older viewers like myself who have been following this character for many years will undoubtedly get a lot more out of it. Both these movies are filled to the rim with jokes and you will need to watch them multiple times to get them all. But that doesn't mean they both don't have heart as well. Unbelievably, these Lego movies take the time to give us some emotional moments too and although it's not something to cry over, it is surprisingly touching. With the Lego movie, you can relate to or possibly even remember being in a place like Emmett, where you start out being the outsider, and then after a period of time, you become more sociable and have friends of your own. This is a more personal storyline. And on the other side of the spectrum, in the Lego Batman movie, they delve more into the fact that Batman is behaving too dark and broody for his own good, and it's not good for his mental health. And that ingeniously works on both an emotional and comical level. Not to mention that he unknowingly adopted a new foster son, Dick Grayson. And yes, they do make a dick joke too, and it was really smart how they managed to incorporate it in a film that has to keep kids in mind. Which do I prefer? Well, in all honesty, although I laughed at the Lego movie, and I laughed hard in many scenes, the Lego Batman movie is taking these already well-known characters and referencing so much of their history, including some of the recent movies like The Suicide Squad, and they really took a couple of direct hits at Suicide Squad. The amount of material to parody is just endless, and that is ultimately the goal of these Lego movies, to poke fun at a particular genre. And that is why I much prefer the jokes in the Lego Batman movie. Now the Lego movie visually looked good at first, but it got boring pretty quick in my opinion. However, it started to gain momentum again once they came to the Old West. It's from this point on where the world becomes less cluttered and the Legos are placed in these beautiful looking locations. And I personally think it complements the Legos a lot more. And that's when the camera angles start to become a lot more creative as well. As for the Lego Batman movie, its animation was really good. It seemed to always be doing something with its colour scheme and really fast paced action sequences that just made you feel like you were going through an adrenaline rush. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the best animated scenes as the trailers deliberately leave them out so you can witness them for the first time in the actual movie, but believe me when I say that the animation in Lego Batman is vastly superior to the Lego movie. It also recreates some shots from the previous Batman films and they were so beautifully crafted in Lego form that I wanted to just pause and admire the detailed reconstruction. So in regards to which had the best animation, without a doubt, the Lego Batman movie wins out here. So I can say right now that both of these are great movies, but nothing's perfect and it's time to talk about their flaws. We'll start with the Lego movie. My main problem with it is pacing and rewatch value. It was great fun watching it for the first time, but when this movie slows down, it really slows down. And if I was to rewatch it, I would most likely skip some of the scenes. And although it was a great idea to include the DC superheroes in here, what bothered me is that they were so useless. They could have easily destroyed some of these ships or broken out of their chains, but they don't. They hardly do anything. I really wouldn't mind this if there was a joke to back up how useless they were, such as the bad guys constantly spamming kryptonite on Superman, but there was none of that. And it's a shame because if the writers wanted them to be useless, then they had the perfect opportunity to abuse their vulnerabilities. It was a perfect setup and it would have been really funny, but instead they come off as annoying whenever they are around during the fight sequences. And those are all my complaints with the Lego movie. Now in the Lego Batman movie, there were three things I didn't like. What? One was the overuse of pop songs. There was like one, maybe two tops that worked, but the rest were shoehorned into the film and they didn't fit. If anything, they took away from the moments, and I find this to be a very weird creative decision as the film had a pretty effective original score, so I'm surprised that they didn't just use more of that. Also, Batman started rapping one too many times and it was too over the top to me. Also, as funny as the movie is, there are some jokes that just fall flat and they make Batman come off as too stupid. There needed to be a little more restraint there. I hate everything you just said. And much like everyone else, I thought there was a point in this film where the pace just dropped quite substantially at about the halfway point. Also, if I'm being nitpicky, I did not like the voice they used for Harley. It didn't sound right and that was distracting. 
In conclusion, these are both two great movies, and whichever one you like all depends on your sense of humour and your history with the LEGO license. If you have powerful memories of playing with LEGOs as a kid, then I have a strong feeling you will prefer the LEGO movie. If, like me, you don't give a crap about LEGOs, but you grew up watching practically all versions of Batman in both his live-action and animated incarnations, then you will love this film, especially if you like the Adam West Batman for his silliness. This movie is right up your alley. So if you haven't figured it out already, in my personal opinion, I far prefer the Lego Batman movie over the Lego movie. The jokes just hit home with me a lot more, and that's what I mean when I said it all comes down to your own sense of humour. However, for me, other than the obvious, there is one quality that both these movies have in common, and that is, after I saw them the first time, I had no interest in watching them again. However, there is a Lego movie out there that is so awesome that once it was over, I wanted to immediately watch it again, and surprisingly, no one talks about it, and I think that's why they enjoy these two Lego movies as much as they do, because they haven't watched, in my opinion, the superior one. Guys, the best Lego movie is... Lego Batman DC Superheroes Unite. The villains, the story, the more serious but still comedic approach to Batman, his team up with Superman, the big final battle including the Justice League and Cyborg, Two-Face's ridiculous and over-reliance of his coin, in my opinion a superior Joker, and Lex Luthor voiced by the one and only Clancy Brown, who voiced him in many animated episodes and movies, it also has great and hilarious action sequences. And it also has such memorable and hysterical moments like this. Being that close to the kryptonite weakened me. We bought ourselves a few minutes. We've got to get to the center of town. I don't think I can fly yet. I guess we can get there some other way. When you watch this scene in context with the movie, it is so hilarious. And all round, I found this movie to be more up my alley, and it had a perfect balance of comedy, action, seriousness, and lightheartedness. So I personally think this is the superior LEGO movie. If you haven't checked it out, then I highly recommend that you do. So it's time for the overall scores for this versus video. The LEGO movie gets a 7 out of 10, and the LEGO Batman movie gets an 8. And for those of you who are wondering, LEGO Batman DC Super Heroes Unite gets a 9 out of 10. Keep in mind that this is just my own personal opinion. Please do comment below and let me know what you thought of these LEGO movies and which one you prefer. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? And it's also quite sad how LEGOs are deliberately taking the mick and yet they have managed to make a much better Lex Luthor and Joker than the real actors and directors versions of the characters in the movies. And we are supposed to be taking these live action versions seriously. <laughs> Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to take them seriously after this. How embarrassing. Anyway, stay tuned for next week as I'm going to do a versus battle of John Wick 1 and John Wick 2 and we'll just see which one is superior. And hopefully Keanu Reeves will make his first great action sequel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you don't miss out on my future versus videos. And I will catch all of you next time. Take care.